Hello YouTube, this is Transient Stacker. Out here on the road, still working, luckily. I know a lot of people are stuck indoors, so I just thought I'd include this shot of what it's like outside here in South Carolina. It's pretty nice. Good to be outside and not stuck indoors. All right, so a little while ago I made a video I called I'm not a doomsday prepper, I'm a bad day prepper. And here we are six months later and it's looking a lot like doomsday, but I don't think it is. I don't think this virus is lethal enough to cause doomsday. It is gonna cause a lot of pain and a lot of bad days. And a lot of you out there, you might have to dip into your stack. And you know, it's, it's gonna be painful, you know. I remember back in my 20s when I got laid off from my job, I had to sell my all my electronic stuff, my TV and everything to uh, make rent. And it sucked, you know. It sucks being out of work and having no TV, but uh, it, it would suck more to be homeless. So, you know, I did what I had to do and I made it through, got a new job and everything worked out. So, if you gotta dip into your stack, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so what if this is doomsday and you survived the virus and now you're living in this post-doomsday world? Do you think you'd be using this as currency? Like a lot of doomsday preppers seem to believe? I don't think so. I'll tell you why. Well, it's true that gold and silver was used as currency back in the day, like in the Viking times and the Roman times. Back then, there was a lot less people and there was a lot less gold and silver. Since then, the population has increased along with the amount of gold and silver with all the new mining techniques. But all that gold and silver is spread out among six billion people, so that's why it has the value it has. So if a lot of people died off and yet you still had all this gold and silver, it just about be worthless. It's not worthless. I mean, there'd just be tons of it. Even before I got into stacking, I had my wedding band. Almost everybody has some gold or silver, so... I mean, you could just kick down in any door on some abandoned house and find their stash of jewelry, so... I really don't think this would have any worth after a doomsday event. Of course, I don't think we'll be using this either. So what do I think would be used for currency after doomsday? Or a doomsday event, like a virus? Personally, at least here in North America, I think this would be used as currency. And bullets have been used as currency in the past. If you've ever had a shot of whiskey or a shot of tequila, it got its name because back in the old Western days, a shot of whiskey cost the same as a bullet. So a bartender would take a bullet in exchange for a shot of whiskey. But like I said, I don't think this is doomsday. I'm really hoping it's not. But I think things are going to get bad with so many people out of work and the economy so screwed up. That's why I'm glad I got this badass girl over here. But I'm hoping I don't have to use this or this. I'm hoping things get better and we could all go back to stacking without these giant premiums and just go back to uh, the way things were if not better than they were so I'll see you next time hopefully in better times